Welcome or welcome back to my YouTube channel. In today's video, we are yet again attempting to break 90. And as you can see, compared to the last few videos, it is very sunny today. Sorry, I can't even open my eyes at the minute. Let me turn around. There we go. I think my issues are is that on the front nine, especially, I get too many double bogeys. So if I can try and reduce my double bogeys today, I think we can score quite well. But I'm going to not talk too much because I feel like I talk a lot in my intros. I'll save the talking for the golf. Let's go and play the first hole and see if today Today is the day we finally managed to break 90. Also, before we go to the first tee, I forgot to mention, I'm really going to be focusing on my takeaway today. What I've noticed for the last few months is that I have a very outside takeaway rather than keeping my arms close to my body. So I'm going to be quite cautious of that. Now I'm actually done talking. Let's play this course. Hole number one is a 397 yard par four and it is SI5 for ladies. Right, so we're now here on the first tee box. And if you watched my previous video, I managed to hit a drive here last week like 217 yards roughly so let's see if we can do it again got the driver in hand Okay, that was really, really good distance, but I think I bounced off towards the right, but it's fine. Not a horrible slice. Right, so not a bad drive from us. That went about 175 yards, which is really, really good. I now have to punch out though, because I don't have a line in and I've read your comments. You said to use my least loftiest iron to punch out, which is my seven iron. So I'm just going to punch out with this club, get back in the fairway and have a good line in. Okay, not the best of contacts but i think i will have a line in right so we now have a line into the green still have about 168 yards left so i'm gonna use my five wood here and get this on the green flag is white i'm gonna aim it more towards the left because i tend to slice my woods Oh, that took a horrible bounce to the right. Okay, we are now on the green here, but I have a really, really long putt. So my goal here is to just get this one close rather than trying to get it in. So let's do it. Oh, I'm just off the green here. Could have done a bump and run, to be honest. Uphill and then downhill, but let's really welly this one, Alia. Oh, I might have wellied it too hard. Oh no. Okay, decent putt. I did hit that one off the hill, to be honest, but I thought it was going to be too strong, but it's worked out all right. Okay, I'm going to get the flag out. Let's see if we can make this putt. Downhill, but it looks like a right to left. So I'm going to aim this one just on the right side of the cup. Go, 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 go. How unfortunate. It was a good attempt, though. It was a good attempt. Okay, so we finish off with a double bogey on the first hole. Honestly, I'll take double bogey on the first hole. I always get first tee nerves. But now let's calm down, play the rest of the hole and bogey and par the rest of them. My dad laughed when I missed that second putt, by the way. As predicted by her father. He said I was going to three putt and I did. So I think he just jinxed me and gave me evil eye. I predict six on the next par three. Hole number two is a 138 yard par three and it is SI 15 for ladies. Okay, so for the second hole what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna use a six hybrid and aim for the center of the green because it is a red flag today but the pin is directly behind the bunker and i don't think it'd be very smart goal for me to go for the pin so we're gonna play it safe go for the middle let's do it oh i chunked it not good not horrible actually no that is quite horrible i should be getting in the green in one but not sure why i chunked that i think maybe i'll stood too close to the ball but let me know in the comments okay so i've left myself here in a really difficult position 56 yards left into the middle so i'm gonna full swing a soft 56 degree That was so pure. Oh, that was perfect. Could have probably played it a lot more aggressive and maybe gone for the pin, but I was a bit worried with the bunker there. So I think that was the much smarter play. Okay, we're now here on the green. Another really long putt. So my goal again is to just get this one close. Oh, I got a divot. So let's fix that. Oh, it turned right at the end there. Lovely. Okay, so we finish off with a bogey there and all things considered, I think that was a really good bogey. So I think we're doing really well. Hole number three is a 415 yard par five and it is SI9 for ladies. Third hole, quite a large fairway. My goal here is to aim towards the left side and end up there because it will bounce towards the right. Got a driver in hand, let's do it. Quite 
quite a good drive, sun's in my eye. Didn't take a horrible bounce towards the right, we're in the middle of the fairway and have a fantastic line in. So another really decent drive from us, 170 yards roughly, got the 5 wood in hand, gonna try and gain as much distance as possible and let's see because I don't know what I was gonna say, I was gonna say hopefully I don't end up in the bunker, that's what I was gonna say. Didn't complete the swing there, but I think it's going to work. I can't see where it's rolling. Ah, oh, okay, I can see it. In front of the green, in between two bunkers. So we're not in the bunker. That's great. Right, a really, really strong five wood from us. 182 yards, which I'm really happy with. I now have a 56 degree in hand because I have about 57 yards left into the middle. So let's get this close to the pin. Oh, I thinned it. No, no, I just thinned that one. Not good. Okay, I'm just off the green here and I can see my ball. I have a 52 in hand. I'm gonna try and chip this one as close as I can. So I really thinned that one. I don't think I've ever thinned it this bad. Go, 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 go. Oh, way too soft, Dahlia. Come on, get close. I'm a bit scared to hit that one. I feel like I'm throwing away this hole a little bit. I'm gonna take the flag out for this one. It's another downhill putt. Ooh, that didn't turn at all, but it was a really good attempt. We'll take it. Finished off with a, a double bogey, yes, on that hole, which isn't amazing. Hole number four is a 401 yard par five and it is SI 13 for ladies. Okay, now here on hole number four, got the driver in hand again. The wind is coming like this way at a bit of an angle. So I'm just gonna aim for the middle of the fairway and see if it pulls it back in. Oh my God. Holy cow! Gosh, what happened there? I don't even think that was a slice. I just fully went in that direction. Okay, so I now have about 160 yards left into the middle. The flag is white today. It is downhill, but I'm going to use my 5 wood to just try and get this as close to the back pin. Oh no, trees! Okay, it came down under. Why did that go so left? Like, why have I been hitting it so much towards the right, sorry, on this hole? Okay, so I now have about 61 yards left into the middle. So I'm going to full swing my 56 degree and let it roll towards the back of the green. Go. Okay, that took a bounce towards the left side, but that was really good distance and it was a pure contact and I didn't thin it like I did on the previous hole, so not gonna complain. Okay, we have quite a long putt left in, but this is because of the lie of the green. I'm gonna leave the flag in just in case the flag might stop the ball. Ooh, too hard, I think. Ooh! No, actually, that was a really, really good putt from us. Good distance. I'm really trying to focus on locking my wrist for my putts lovely okay so we finish off with a bogey on that hole and honestly i will take a bogey especially with how horrible my drive was and i had to do a recovery shot so i think bogey is good bogey golf is what i need to break 90. hole number five is a 344 yard par four and it is si1 for ladies right we are now here on the hardest hole on the course for women got the driver in hand slopes massively towards the right but i just want to end up in the fairway to be honest Oh, where are my slices coming from right now? I think I see. I think I'm next to the trees. It took a really harsh bounce towards the right. I didn't end up on the bushes on that side, which is a positive because at the minute, I've been really loving those bushes. Okay, so I am in the rough a little bit. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use a seven iron. I can't go for the green on this hole. So I'm going to aim towards the left side, hopefully play the slope a little bit and it rolls towards the green, but I'm just pretty much going left. So that line i'm really struggling with lining my feet up recently okay it got out but i need it to bounce more that way yes stay that way don't roll towards the right side okay slight roll towards the right which is not ideal i think that means ball is gonna be be below my feet sorry so let's go find out okay so i have about 70 yards left into the middle but pin is in the front so i'm gonna club down and use my 56 degree ball is below my feet a little bit so gonna aim more towards the left side Oh my gosh, 
Why am I thinning my 56 today? Wow. Oh my gosh, that's a horrible shot. Okay, so I thinned this one near the other fairway. So I've got my 52 in hand. I'm gonna try and chip this one back. Not sure why I'm thinning my 56 at the minute. I don't know where it is. Can you guys by any chance see like a pink ball? Oh, I've got it. No, I've got it. I've got it. That was hard to find. Oh, sugar. That was because I'm panicking a bit, but it's okay. 52 in hand again. Gonna chip this one once more. No! It's rolling towards the other side. Sorry, my dad was gonna lift the pin up again. Sorry, I think how long it took me to find that ball just threw me off. <sighs> Relatively long putt. Relax, Alia. Oh, so close. <sighs> Not a good hole. Not a good hole at all. Okay, so I finish off that hole with a seven, which is not what I wanted at all. I didn't want to have to get more than a double bogey today, which means I'm just going to have to try and get more pass. But that's, I, sh I shouldn't have said on the tee box, hardest hole on the course. Every time I say that, it like gets in my head and it proved that I think I played that hole quite well until the chip shots in the short game, but short game through there, but it's okay. We'll wait in for the bell to ring before we can play the sixth hole, but we're good. I just gotta... Just gotta stay calm. Hole number six is a 329 yard par four and it is SI3 for ladies. Okay, here on hole number six, so it's aimed to have a really strong drive. I think I'm swinging quite slowly, which is resulting in shorter drives. So I'm gonna try and swing faster, not harder, faster. Oh, what a bloody fantastic drive, Alia. I definitely haven't been swinging fast enough, which might be the reason of my slow distances, or is the reason, but yay, we're not in the trees. Okay, so I now have about 167 yards left into the middle. Really strong drive from us. I'm gonna club down and use my five hybrid just because it does go uphill a little bit more, but then it's completely downhill. So I don't wanna roll off the back. So five hybrid is the right choice here, I think. Oh, I didn't complete my swing. It's bouncing towards the right side. I hope I'm not in the bunker. Can't tell, but we'll find out. Right, thankfully we are just short of the bunker, but unfortunately it does mean I have a really high lit bunker to get over. But we're going to pretend that the bunker's not there. Do a really good chip and get this close. Okay, I hit the top of the bunker there, but it came out. So I got really, really, really lucky there. Sorry, I think my camera stopped recording there, so I apologize if it missed a um, few shots. Okay, apologies. My camera stopped recording there, and I'm not sure how many shots it missed, but I three putted there, got a seven, back-to-back -back triple bogeys, which is not what you want on the scorecard. <sighs> I need to clear my head. Okay, so I've just watched back that footage because I'm here waiting um, on the tee box anyway. I just realized it didn't get my first two putts. I don't know why. It just suddenly stopped recording, and lucky I noticed. If not, I wouldn't have caught any of the putts on that hole, so I do apologize. I'm not sure why my camera just stopped recording it does that on and off for some reason maybe something's wrong with my camera but yes currently i know i am about 12 over which is obviously not good six holes 12 over pretty much averages out to double bogeying every single hole but this is the issue i have especially on this course i don't know what it is the first six holes is the other holes that i tend to lose the most strokes and then towards the back nine is when i tend to save a lot of my strokes and what keeps me under 100 so i'm not sure why it is maybe it's a mental block that I need to work over because I don't really seem to have this issue on other courses as much so yeah I don't know why it is but I gotta try and figure out how to start playing the front six holes better because well 12 over on the front six is not good also the camera not working miss me taking a pee over okay there. yeah okay bye <laughs> Okay, so we've just decided to let the guy behind us through. He's not pressuring us or anything. It's literally just slow play and it's queuing. But I personally find, and if you watch my previous videos, I struggle when there's someone directly behind me. Just for my own mental strength and to take some pressure off, I'm just going to let him play through and then I don't mind queuing anyway. Hole number seven is a 324 yard par four and it is SI7 for ladies. Right, we're now here on the seven tee box and I've got no one behind me now. There's a ladies tournament behind, but they're all playing like three four two balls etc so that will take away a lot of the pressure behind me my dad's walked up the hill and he's hiding behind one of the trees because he really likes walking up this, this hill like it's a mission for him but he loves it driver in hand gonna swing this fast get it close
really good drive from us not sure about the distance but this is massively uphill and when you go uphill you're always gonna lose distance but didn't slice it into the trees didn't hit my dad i'm gonna keep recording as i drive up this hill i can see my dad he's come out of the trees he said he wanted me to find him but he's just revealed where he is hold on let me focus getting up this hill hold on oh ooh. okay there he is i'm gonna go pick him up so he doesn't have to walk that much longer can you see him i hope i'm filming this great there he is get in loser we're going shopping my ball's over there oh, go over there then. aren't you coming in the buggy no i get buggies when i'm filming now just because it takes a lot of pressure off me like not to stress about if i'm potentially slowing anyone else down and plus if i'm in the buggy it means i can bring my dad along because he can't walk the entire golf course it's too much for him so it just takes away some pressure um and it means my dad can come along with me whenever i film which is nice gives him a little little day out and he can laugh at me and have joy in that so yeah really strong drive from us found my ball my arm hurts from holding the tripod and driving with one hand but enough water well what also the greenskeeper is currently on the green for the hole that i'm on and they're spraying some sort of um blue thing on the green can you guys let me know in the comments what is that blue thing that greenskeeper spray on the green like what is it for like i'm really really curious because i always see them do it and my balls and my clubs get blue but i'm very curious so i feel like i'm waffling now but yeah <laughs> what does the blue spray stuff do for the green okay so really really good drive from us i now have about 156 yards left into the middle Got my full hybrid in hand get this on the green really straight but i need you to bounce towards the right the aim was like perfect and the distance was perfect just no actually the aim wasn't perfect the distance was perfect the aim was not just on the edge of the green here so i have my nine iron in hand and i'm gonna bump and run this as close as i can oh my club got stuck Hit that a little bit hard so it went a bit long but I'm still on the green so we're doing good. We now have quite a long putt left in. Dad is on the caddy duties. Gonna take the flag out if I get this one in. Left to right. Oh, Alia. Come on Alia. Could you take the flag out please actually? Can you do it? <laughs> Thank you. Yes! Lovely! Good teamwork! Good teamwork! Okay, so we finish off with a bogey on that hole. Really, really good bogey. Finally, off the triple bogeys. We are on the top of the hill though, so it is a little bit more windy, but no excuses. Let's do this. Nothing more than bogeys and pars from now on. Hole number eight is a 260 yard par four, and it is SI11 for ladies. Here on the next hole, wind is against. Danger is all towards the right side, so we're gonna go towards the left side. Got my driver in hand. Really pretty much here. You need to try and get your drive one AE roughly, so you have a good line in with no tree so that's what we're gonna do i hit that off the hill i think that's actually gonna work out perfect oh there's a bunker there hopefully we haven't ended up in a bunker but i think hitting that one faster helped me make up a lot of distance for what was a bad strike he's refusing he to get in, the buggy. get in the buggy no he... he's making me walk no he i keep his cruelty. no i keep asking him to get in he won't get in you say that on the camera. Father, get in. It's not true. Father, get in. Father, get in the buggy. No. Yeah, look, see, so he said no. Okay, so that drive didn't go as far as what I thought, but I'm gonna risk it here. I'm gonna try and go over the trees. Use my 56 degree, get this one over. Okay, so like I said, gonna try and go over the trees. 56 in hand, ball slightly above my feet. Let's do this. I trust that I can do this. Careful, father. That was really good contact and the height was there. I just accidentally went towards my dad. Okay, so that obvious- You saw that. She aimed for me. <laughs> no, I didn't. Anyway. <laughs> As expected, she missed. <laughs> Have my nine iron in hand. I'm gonna do like a half swing here to keep this under the tree. Let's get this on. Come on, Alia. Oh, that was really good for me. Perfect distance. With this green, it does slope downwards. And if you catch like the wrong break on this hole, it will, will completely roll off the back of the hill. So I'm really happy with that shot. So my father's back on the caddy duty to lift the flag up. Downhill putt, right to left. Oh, my hands are going blue because they've put that blue stuff on the green and I'm touching it. I'm gonna aim this just on the right of the cup. <laughs> oh. 
Oh, that's okay. It's a good attempt. Okay, we'll take it. Another bogey. See, I know I can get bogeys. I just need to really work on and figure out why I just play the front six so horribly all the time. But let me know in the comments why you guys think that's the case because I think I can break 90. I stopped playing the front six so badly. Hole number nine is a 160 yard par three and it is SI 17 for ladies. Here on the beautiful hole number nine, I think this is my favorite par three on the course. Like the views up here are stunning. I've got a five hybrid in hand just because I want to make sure, or actually, I'm saying the wrong thing. When I tee up with a hybrid on iron, I feel like I lose distance. So I always end up clubbing up to make up for the difference, which I think is the right thing to do. But let me know if that theory is wrong. But yes, five hybrid in hand. Let's get this on the green. Oh man. Wow, why did I hit that so much towards the right side? Oh wow, I'm not sure why I'm doing that so much. Did I go too much under the ball? Not sure why, but that wasn't a great strike. We're not on the green. Okay, we now have another one of these really difficult chips where it's over a bunker. I have a 52 in hand instead of my 56 just because I prefer chipping with this club and I trust that I can get over. So let's do it. Oh, what a gorgeous chip, Alia. Oh, that was stunning. I just prefer chipping with this club, even though it's not my loftiest wedge. Okay, hold this over here. I've just taken the flag out, got a relatively long putt, but I think we can make it. I gotta stop touching the green, man. It's, my hand's gonna go blue. Go, 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 go. Oh, that didn't turn as much as what I thought it was gonna do, but it was a good putt. Lovely. Okay, so we finish off that hole with yet another bogey. I'm feeling really good. Three bogeys in a row, which is good for my confidence is what I needed. So far, no pass, but bogey golf is good golf. Hole number 10 is a 282 yard par four and it is SI 16 for ladies. Apologies, you are quite far on this hole. With the way this tee box is lined up, that's the furthest I have to put you. Or that's the nearest I can put you, sorry. Downhill hole, pretty much just gotta go straight and then we'll play the slope and it should roll quite close to the green oh no i hit that off the hill again damn it that is not a good strike whatsoever huh <sighs> i feel like i lose focus very easily when playing golf i feel like i need to train my my mental my mental game i'm gonna try with my seven iron here to go through that gap and play the hill because hill sorry because if you can catch the hill the ball rolls towards the green so we gotta get my aim right here Oh, I hit that too high. What were you doing, Alia? Way too high. Okay, I'm gonna try this again. Apologies for the horrible angle I'm on a hill. Um, got a seven iron in hand. Gonna just try and play the hill, hill and get this one close. That looks good, but I need it to keep going. Keep going. Okay, now I need it to sit. Don't roll off the green. Don't roll off, don't roll off. Sit, 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 please sit, please sit. Oh my gosh, just before the hill. Nearly rolled off the back, but that was really good in what I was trying to do the second time for the first time with that shot. <laughs> Okay, I now have a really difficult putt here. Downhill, slopes from left to right. Gotta be careful of my strength here, but also just need to make sure that I don't hit it too soft. Go, 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 go. Okay, decent distance. Not bad distance at all. Could have maybe hit it a little bit harder. The hill didn't take that as much as what I thought it was going to do. We now downhill, but this looks straight. Oh, that didn't turn like I thought it would. Okay. Okay, we're starting off the back nine with a double bogey, but double bogey isn't bad. It's all right, but yeah, I just I just thought I was going to make that second putt, but it's okay. Let's keep going. Hole number 11 is a 430 yard par five and it is SI10 for ladies. Right, we're now here on the next hole and I have birdied this hole before, so I am quite confident playing this hole. Have the driver in hand. Let's just get this on the fairway. Oh, sugar. Oh my God, I haven't I haven't topped the drive in months. Okay, that was really embarrassing because I had a group watching me. Um, but got my five wood in hand. I'm gonna get as much distance as I can now because I need it. 
okay that was well loud don't take a horrible bounce to the right it took a horrible bounce to the right it's ended up where my drive should have ended up but it's okay i do not know what's happening to me okay so managed to find my ball i am in some heavy rough still have about 205 yards left into the middle but i'm gonna use my full hybrid here so i don't overshoot the green it's probably gonna end up short but it's what i want anyway wow no distance there what is happening to my swing i feel like the way i swing on the driving range is very different from the way i swing on the course like i swing worse when i am on the course and i need to figure out why okay so i still have about 89 yard left into the middle the pin is in the front but this is slightly uphill and it rolls so i'm just gonna hit a nice soft 52 sorry i stopped talking then oh my god oh my gosh what am i doing what am i i feel like i've lost no but i feel like i'm not focused or thinking about what i'm doing that was horrendous I shall hide behind that tree. <laughs> right, I actually don't know what I'm doing right now. I feel like I'm not thinking or anything, but I've got my 52 in hand. Let's just try and save this hole. Oh my gosh, it took a horrible bounce to the left. Oh man, what am I doing? Okay, I need to try and sort myself out because I actually do not know what's going on right now. Quite a long putt here to go. Oh my gosh, I need to try and get double bogey here. Oh, <laughs> that was a really good attempt. <laughs> You're struggling to take the flag out. Okay, here we go. Okay, right, so we finish off with a double bogey on that hole. I really don't know what I'm doing. My swing feels all over the place at the minute. I'm not sure why, like, hmm, maybe it's because I'm playing this course so much that I just need to play other courses as well, but I don't know. She says that it's because she's wearing long trousers. That's the excuse of the day. I like golf, it's full of excuses. Hole number 12 is a 101 yard par 3 and it is SI18 for ladies. Here we go, shortest par 3 on the course. I have a 9 iron in hand. Let's get this one green and maybe a hole in one. Oh my gosh, that's short. How was that short? I'm gonna have to do a chip now. Okay, so I left this one really, really short. So I still have my 9 iron in hand. I'm gonna bump and run with it. Oh, not great. Thinned it, but okay, I'm really, really hungry. And I never eat enough before I play golf. And I think that plays a factor. I should be eating. Now here on the green, downhill putt. No, that's uphill from here. I'm going to go out of right cup. What am I doing today? Genuinely. right another bogey which bogey is good i just feel off today for some reason i feel like i'm trying to make swing changes on the course which is never a good idea hole number 13 is a 524 yard par 5 and it is si2 for ladies okay so we're now here on the longest hole on the course and my line is pretty much that tree there just off to the right of it but if i hit the straight this should be the perfect drive Hit that really straight. I need it to go towards the left. Okay. Mm, it's rolling a tiny, tiny bit. Not massively, but I don't think I could have hit that drive any better. No, 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 no. <laughs> Here, hit, hit no, this one. You. I don't want to hit that one. Oh, okay. We have a really good drive there. 188 yards and distance wise, that's really good because the wind is against us. Now I have my five foot in hand. Still have about 340 yards to the middle. So let's gain as much distance as possible here. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, I completely pulled that. Okay, distance wise, that was really, really good. But I don't know what on earth I did there to pull it so much to the left. I've never pulled it that much before. Have a seven iron in hand. Let's punch this one back out. Okay, I caught the trees and I'm ending up on the rough on the other side, but wow. Okay, we're now back out with... Alia has just invented a new technique called zigzagging down the fairway. <laughs> Okay, 150. I'll be waiting on the other side. <laughs> okay, we now have 150 yards left into the middle of the green. Have my four hybrid in hand. Let's just get this on nice and straight. 
Come on, get there, get there, get there, get there, get there. Just short of the green, I did reach the, the... Oh my gosh, she's driving away. The distance was really, really good. I'm just short of the green, but I'd rather be um, short than long on this hole. Father, I need to get in. Look, he's driving away without me. Father. Father. Revenge. Daddy. Revenge. Revenge for what? Making me warm. <laughs> Daddy, stop. Let me get in. Christopher. Daddy, let me get in. Don't injure me. Christopher. <laughs> He's driving away. He's fully driving away. Daddy! Daddy! Let me get in! He's fully speeding away. Look at him! Daddy! Okay, I'm not gonna run. I'm not running. I'm gonna stop. I'm a little out of breath. But I have my 52 degree. Let's try to chip this as close as possible. That's a really good chip. I feel like I chip better when I don't think about stuff and I just hit. Right, we now have a relatively long chip in. I'm still quite out of breath because my father zoomed away again. But let's get this part in. Did I say chip? Sorry. I'm just not going to think about it. I'm just going to hit because I feel like when I just hit, that's when I swing the best. Okay, that was a shit putt, but I thought it was going to turn. Evidently not. Let's not think. Just hit. Lovely. Okay, I don't think double bogey is really that bad on that hole, especially considering where my five would ended up. But let's keep playing. I really hope I don't, sh don't shoot over 100 today because I've been consistently managing to shoot in the low 90s. I know I'm not always going to shoot to my handicap, but I really hope I shoot under 100 today. Hole number 14 is a 142 yard par three and it is SI6 for ladies. Okay, now here on the second last par three of the course, not sure why I had to say second last, but to be honest, it's because I don't know which number par three this is. Have my five hybrid in hand. We're going to get this on the water, land on the green. Really good strike. We're just on the right side. Oh my gosh, that's long? No, yes, little bit long, which means I'm leaving myself with a really tricky downhill putt, but we're on the green. Okay, I now have a really tricky putt here, downhill with a really difficult slope, but I am slightly off the green, but I'm just gonna putt this and see what happens. Keep going a little bit more, little bit more. That was really, really good distance. I'll take that any day. Oh, good attempt for par, but to be honest, I was just concerned about sloping off the green, but we'll take a bogey. Lovely. Another bogey on the scorecards, but bogey golf is good golf. I just need to be able to play bogey golf or better on every single hole. Hole number 15 is a 325 yard par 4 and it is SI4 for ladies. Here we are, hole number 15. Got the driver in hand, wind is behind us. So let's see if the wind can work to our advantage a little bit and help us drive this ball a lot further. I don't think I can hit just yet. I think that kind of went exactly where I aimed it, but no, I tried something different there in my swing. Probably shouldn't have done that. Okay, so we are in the fairway bunker, but I've got my seven iron in hand just to see if I can try to hit a shot out of the fairway bunker. So let's see. Oh, that is the best shot I've ever had out of a fairway bunker. Okay, so I have about 90 yards to the middle and normally with this, I would play my 52. Because this is a three tier green, I'm gonna hit my pitching wedge, which I actually haven't hit in a while. So let's get this up there. Really good. Get up there, get up there. Okay, I don't think it's gonna roll down, but let's go see. Okay, unfortunately, I was still too short. I don't know why the flag is yellow. I feel like this should be a white flag, but it's okay. Uphill putt, let's do it. Sorry, I really hit that because I wanted it to just get up there, but maybe I hit it a bit too hard. Oh! nearly missed that okay so finishing off that hole with a double bogey i think i'm playing a lot more consistently now it's just just can't get over why am i struggling on the front six and ruining my scorecards hole number 16 is a 345 yard par four and it is si8 for ladies okay here we are hole number 16 my dad is hiding behind that tree over there you probably can't see him waving but he is aim here is to go on the left side of the fairway to have a good line in 
Okay, I hit that off the hill a little bit, but that's actually worked out perfectly. I'm right in the middle of the fairway, a little bit towards the left, but I should have a really good line in now. Okay, a really, really strong drive there from us. 191 yards, which is bloody fantastic. 152 left into the middle, but I'm actually going to club down here and use a six hybrid because this hole is downhill. I really want to avoid rolling off the green. If it's short, I'd rather it be short, but let's do it. Oh, Oh my gosh. Okay, so I'm not in a horrible position, but I'm not in an amazing position. I have my eight iron in hand. Gonna do a half swing to try and get this on the green. 52 degree now. Let's give this a really nice trip and get this close to the pin. Yes! We got up there! Okay, just off the green here, but I am gonna use my putter for this one just because I feel like it's the safe option. Wow, that didn't really turn like what I thought it was going to do. Why did I try and change my putting technique? I tried to ch put, like putt differently. Why would you do that, Alia? I... Oh, frick. Today is really not my day. I am not playing well. My swing is all over the place. I keep trying to make active swing changes on the course. Like, what am I doing? Why, why can I not just play consistently well. Hole number 17 is a 234 yard par 4 and it is SI 14 for ladies. Right now here on hole number 17, got my driver in hand, wind is behind us. If I can hit like my 200 plus yard drives, I could drive the green here but I just can't do that consistently so we're just gonna hope we go straight. Oh my gosh, what a drive. I don't think we've driven the green, but we are quite close to the green. Okay, that was a super strong drive from us, 177 yards. We now have 47 left into the middle. Pin is in the front, but I will play this to the middle. Got my 56 in hand, nice, soft, smooth swing. Okay, not the best of swings to be honest, but it worked. I think it's rolled off the back though. Okay, so we have quite a long putt here, but my goal is to just get this one close to putt, secure the par. Stay, stay. Okay, distance was really good. Aim was really bad, but now got a tricky putt for par. Okay, I haven't been taking the flag out, so I'm gonna take it out for this one actually read the green here downhill right to left i think oh just short my dad said i was gonna three putt and i did oh man okay we finish off with another bogey on that hole at this point i'm honestly not even confident i can break 100 today which will be a shame because i've actually been playing really well in the low 90s recently but it's okay more hole to go let's do it hole number 18 is a 150 yard par 3 and it is si12 for ladies right so we're now here on the final hole of the day hole number 18 i have my five wood in hand let's just get this on the green Oh, that's long. Okay, so normally my five wood on this hole is the perfect club, but now it's too long. So maybe I need to start clubbing down. Just off the green here, have my nine iron in hand, gonna bump and run. <gasps> oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, that's so unfortunate. That would have been amazing. That would have been so good. Right, we now have a par putt here. This is a right to left, I believe. Oh, that didn't turn. That's okay. Bogey again. Okay, so we finish off the last hole with a bogey. I'm gonna come off the screen. Let's find out what I scored for the day, but I'm not confident I even shot in the 90s. Okay, so I just got my final scorecard and unfortunately I shot 101 and that feels really, really painful because I haven't really been shooting in the hundreds. I shot 15 over on the front, 15 over on the back. I feel like my golf today was sort of all over. <laughs> I feel like my golf today was sort of all over the place. Like I feel like I played some some holes really well and then I completely lost it on some other holes but I just feel like 
Today was a really weird day for my golf. I'm really sad that I didn't shoot in the 90s, but let me know in the comments, where do you guys think I'm going wrong? Maybe it's just that I play the same course too much and I don't have experience playing that many other courses and I need it. Because you guys know I broke 100 at Cam's Hole and I, I, and I tend to play better when I play different courses rather than always playing the same course. 101 is what it is. We just gotta learn, we just gotta get better. Still chasing that break 90 is gonna happen i'm hoping we manage to do it by this year i feel like we can we're gonna stop talking now i hope you guys enjoyed this video thank you for watching and i'll see you in the next one bye